G'day legends, Chaos Chronicles. All right, so we're back with another one of these uh, reaction type videos again. And um, yeah, this one's on uh, Bathurst Correctional Centre in um, New South Wales. But it really, really highlights how serious our drug problem is inside our prisons in Australia right at this time. Let's go. Bathurst Correctional Centre is one of the toughest jails in the country where drugs, standovers and brawls are part of the daily power struggle. Tonight, Nine News takes you behind bars with the elite team of correctional officers whose job is to throw themselves into danger to restore law and order. Fished from a stormwater drain on the grounds of Bathurst Correctional Centre. Holy madooly. Drugs planted for prisoner pickup. Only the officer. That is a big, big hole. That's like a lot, a lot of. Uh, drugs right there and as you can see they're on a they're in a nicely um bum sized parcel so all of them parcels would have been going up somebody's backside not at the same time but um yeah they would have been shared around and a few people would have been putting them up their backside that's 100 percent Officers find them first. 15 balloons stuffed with a smorgasbord of opioid strips, heroin, ice, tobacco, and a phone charger. They're all it's a half strips. a million dollar haul. The next step is the sting. A half a million dollars worth of drugs inside a prison. If that doesn't really highlight how serious our problem is inside our prisons right now, like how are are these people ever going to get away from these problems? You know, you're not getting rehabilitated while you're in there. That's 100%. Hands on your head, bud. It's an inmate trusted with yard work who is caught in the snare. Hands on your head. Turn that off now. Turned off. Turned off. Put your hands on your head. Watch as he sheepishly pulls the package from beneath his jacket. Well, why'd you go searching through that drain? I was looking in there. Yeah. You're going to turn around and place your hands behind your back. But playing dumb doesn't do you any favours when you're up for parole in a week. You know, you get your parole stuff for a start up. Why is that? Come on, man. Say it. So there you go. So what he done there is going to stop him from getting his parole. Although, like, it's only tobacco or whatever, um, as you'll find out in, in a moment, it's still, like, a serious offence. And, like, this poor guy, um, you know, wasn't even doing it for himself. I didn't even know what it was. It later emerged he was being used as a mule. He was on our ground maintenance crew, so they're usually the ones that are targeted by the heavier inmates to bring in the items. Drugs, standovers, brawl. So people will do that, you know. So in, in, in a lot of our prisons we've got, like, the yard crew which go outside the prison walls to keep the, the jail neat and tidy or whatever. And, um, yeah, a lot of the times them, them people are stood over to make brought in, as you can see, massive holes like that. And, you know, their life's put in danger if they don't do these things. They're all part of the prison power struggle. And this fight behind bars at Bathurst last August was brutal. It starts in the cells, then spills. Watch this, how, how many people are fighting each other. Someone's about to get knocked out on the ground there and there's absolutely no interaction by the screws for, for about two minutes. Pulls out into the common room, multiple targets being thrown, Knocked punched. out. Knocked out. Look, you can see him there. He is KO'd. Kicked and stomped on. At this point, it's too... This is another, you know, this is why you don't want to go to prison because, like, you are not... 100%, unless you are carrying samurai swords and, and are like a ninja, you, you are not safe in a situation like this, and, and that is absolutely for sure. Too dangerous for all but one squad to step in, the immediate action team. Tear gas, the only way to tame the tussle, brought to a stop in just over 60 seconds. That guy was still knocked out on the ground just down here. And um, as you can see, the, the squad came in, which is usually what happens. But, like, the the, the normal everyday screws that are inside that unit to, to protect you are not going to protect you in a situation. And especially if you are getting a shank sandwich, you know, if someone pulls out one of them, the screws are nowhere to be seen. And as a matter of fact, there is a video called Fubard, F-U-B-A-R-D-E-D, -E um, and... 
yeah, you need to check that out. It's on it's on YouTube, and that really highlights how how the screws won't step in when someone's getting sliced up. Kill yourself. And when it's game on, they are highly trained and very good at what they do, and they face what other people fear, right? Correctional officer Josh Walker was involved in both the bust and breaking up the maximum security melee. The moment we hear that radio call where an officer needs our help, we're there. There's absolutely no... And that's true. When when you hear the, the buzzer go off and, and a code's been called, like literally, you will see a stampede of security coming like the squad stick together and they do not mess around. They're all big big boys and, and, and they are known for punching on with prisoners and punching their heads in like they're not just because they're screws doesn't mean they're weak trust me only the toughest of the toughest become security and they're, they're pretty hectic. No hesitation. It's high risk, high reward and drugs are the bane of law and order. Josh and his AAT. That, that, that was more, more there so like there was half a million dollar haul before. That's probably another half a million dollar haul right there. Like those bupe strips that you've seen sometimes go for up to a thousand dollars one strip, and somebody gets like up to forty of these a week off their doctor for five dollars. So you know it's a big, big, big market, and people make big, big money. Colleagues are gearing up for a random cell raid in the maximum security wing. Each day they receive intel on who may be hiding contraband. And that's another thing as well. So, like, um, I remember when I was at Port Phillip back when there was smoking and and one of the three pippers there that, that was a pretty paddable um, screw, I'll, you know, and he, he told us that, you know, they they between they pay between sixty and eighty pouches every single week to to like like everyday snitches that, that come back every week for their pouch and just snitch all the time. Like that's putrid. Stand up. Let's go outside. The room turned upside down, including bedding, clothes, food, toiletries, and even the so this is this is exactly what our cells look like here in Victorian prisons as well. So they're pretty much exactly the same. A Port Phillips different, but every other prison in Victoria is pretty much exactly how this is set up here. Toilet. I guess when you spend a majority of your day inside of a cell trying to work out places to hide things, you get you get quite creative. It's a- and they do. Well, we do. Whatever. I used to. I know that for sure. Constant game of cat and mouse which in this case led to capture. Tiffany Genders, Nine News. Well, there you go. You know, if that doesn't highlight how serious our drug problem is inside our prisons, like seriously, people go there to to get rehabilitated. Like I know personally people that go there to get off drugs and, you know, they, they, they walk through them doors and there's just, you know, boatloads of the stuff everywhere so um you know and also you know it highlighted how dangerous it is inside there like there was a big big melee going on there where people were getting seriously hurt and the screws were doing nothing about it so like you're never never safe and this is a reason why you don't want to go to prison um yeah, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. You guys have been absolutely awesome. If you haven't dropped me a subscribe, jump up there and shoot me a subscribe. Hit that bell. That way you'll never miss any of my clips again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Chaos Chronicles, we out. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk the out of here or not.